Hi, I'm Paco Nathan with O'Reilly Media, and we're here at the O'Reilly Artificial Intelligence Conference in New York City, and it's a pleasure to be joined with uh, Jolene Liang from uh, Squirrel AI Learning. Yes, nice Welcome. meeting you, Paco. Very good to meet you, too. Thank you. I really enjoyed your keynote this morning. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Um, okay, first question. What makes Squirrel AI Learning uh, unique and be able to develop it at such a, a high speed as, a, uh, as an AI unicorn, an AI education unicorn, I should yeah, say. Yeah, sure. Um, actually, there are two key features. And the first one, of course, is going to be the AI technology. Hmm. So uh, we, we do have very top AI trainings from the world helping us build this AI platform. So we have uh, Professor Tom Mitchell from oh. Carnegie Mellon University. He's oh, the Dean of Computer Science Department. And also we have many um, professors working with us doing joint research project. And our platform is built up like, with over, I think, 20 algorithms. Oh. And we do have other like uh, worldwide first invented techniques, such like um, NKC, which is nanoscale knowledge point components. Okay. Yeah, and we do the root tracing system, which means um, the system can track back to sixth grade or fourth grade of the um, knowledge components that oh. the students have not mastered at that time. Yep, and we do have uh, other projects with a Stanford Research Institute oh. undergoing. Yes. It's called like Human um, Machine Interface right. and MIBA system, which is MIB, uh, multimodal integrated behavior analysis. So we have combination of all sorts of like technology and really top AI talents from the world. So can help us to build this. I can't say perfect um, uh, platform yet, but we are trying to. Yes. And that's been within the space of four years, hasn't it? It's yeah, our company founded like four and a half years ago, which is 2014. And we spent about almost three mm. years to build this platform. Oh. And till end of 2014 and early 17, we started launching our platform to the market. Oh, fantastic. Yes. What would be, what would you say is the, the main driver then for, for that, that rapid success? Um, I think is our team, the co, you know, co-founders and founders. We have the mission to really change the education because most of us, well, not me, most of us have been in education industry for almost twenty years. Interesting. Yeah, we know the big difficulties of education, well, in traditional way of the education in China, and of course we know that this is the same thing everywhere in the world, so right? Yes. We really want to change this uh, situation, and we know that um, some companies like Newton, Alex, they were adaptive learning companies like twenty years ago. They are pretty mm -hmm. good in US. Yeah. And we wanted to do the similar things, but we do have big differences that we do have our own contents where they don't really have their own, right. and they have their very good platform, and we do. And also we have services um, oh. to help the students to service and support the students and the parents all the time. Right, I saw that from the keynote. There is a, there is a real human component to this also. Yeah. A large part automation, but then up to 30%, was it, that's the human component. Yes, yes. 70% of students learn from the AI tutor, right. and 30% there's a human coach always there. We are human beings, right? right, right. We can't really face robot all the time, 24 hours. Right. So there will be a human tutor. Ah, yes. Fantastic. So the whole team, we have, you know, the passion of changing the education world. So we definitely want to do that. And our founder, Derek, he is a serial entrepreneur as well. And his previous company was called Only Education, was the first IPO um, yeah, Asia market in, in China. I mean, the first education company, which was very hard at that time. So he has lots of passion. He has, um, he knows how to do like internet right. education long time ago, and he yeah. wants to use AI to make education equal. Ah. Yeah, for all the students. Excellent, yes. excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, what specific types of AI technologies have have come in then as you've been building Squirrel? Um, adaptive learning is the main one. Okay. Yeah, adaptive. So. Um, the system can be adaptive to each different student based on their different um, situation, uh -huh. the real-time data and feedback, and well, right and wrong answers is one uh, key factor, and also the behavior they they move their mouse and the time, the speed, and the um, like 
the pressure they have and blood pressure and eye gazing. Really interesting. Test, yeah, their concentration. But the main one is adaptive learning. Okay. Yeah, some algorithm technology around adaptive learning. Yes. Uh, how do you think that AI will have impact on education and other industries, um, say, over the next five to ten years? Well, totally change, probably. Okay. Yeah, we would like to say there are four key f characteristics of AI. And um, I think I remember the f first one is um, AI knows kind of everything, more than human beings, right? We notice some changes from like other people around the world, but AI probably knows much more than us. Oh, interesting, okay. Yes, right. And um, the second one is like, when we go through the customs, now it's been changed that there's a facial recognition system to right. capture our face, right? right? It used to be human, right? right? And now it's AI is doing this. And we'll save our cost and save our time, save labors. Right. And most important thing is it's more accurate, right. right? We cannot recognize. I think the previous uh, rate was 95% accuracy by humans. Uh -huh. And now it's about 98% accuracy Interesting. by AI and also computing power. As human beings, we cannot calculate and compute right. things so fast, right? And AI is probably 100,000 times faster right. than us. Very clear limitations. Yeah. And there's a last one, maybe a little bit challenging, and some people are afraid of it, is self-involving. Like AlphaGo, right? And AlphaGo Zero, it can learn from itself. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's our system is doing the same thing that at the beginning, we teach AI. Right. We teach the AI platform to learn from the teachers, to learn from the students. And later on, our AI system learns from itself. Okay. So that's kind of self-evolving. And my son asked me a question um, beginning of this month. Mom, do you think AI has feelings? Ah. <laughs> that's a very scary question, yeah. right? Self-evolving is probably kind of feelings, instincts similar to humans, so that's scary, but I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I, I still think that human beings will kind of master and control um, AI, but AI will definitely change a lot of things in our life. We have to work together with AI and be friends and be families. Definitely, it's that collaboration yes, that's so important. Yes. Uh, what is it about education that's, that's very special in regards to AI? I know that your founder had been working in education before. Yeah. So how, how does this really fit into AI? Um, because in traditional education, all the students in the same classroom, right? Mm. They learn at the same speed and same time, the same contents. But all the students are different. You and me different. You are good students. I'm probably a poor <laughs> student. <laughs> or maybe we student. are both very like good students, but yeah. we are our strengths are different, yeah. right? So the students need to learn personalizedly, right. individualizedly, and customize for me and customize for you. Maybe your strength is at math and my strength is at English. Right. So we should learn differently. So traditional education cannot do in that way. Right, Only right, right. AI can help because AI has so many characteristics, right. Right, so many features, and AI can do human beings cannot do. And teachers get overwhelmed with that exactly. level of personalization. Exactly, and AI can help teachers to yeah. uh, reduce the time of working and working more passionately with yeah. the students, not like teaching all the components and to the students and get frustrated and angry, stressful, right? And they will be smiling all the time, happy, encouraging yeah. students. So AI can do in that way to, to, to do like individualized education. So adaptive learning is one of the main, um, like, um, how to say, is one of the main technology to do okay. personalized learning. Like robots interaction is another way, but it's not really personalized learning, right? Uh. It's like um, you feel more interesting and uh, facing technology. It's a different way of AI education. But the main area that wo we focus on AI education is personalized that learning, adaptive. We think that this is the main uh, base that um, 
education can be changed. And I can imagine uh, from what you've described about the founding staff, mm -hmm. uh, many of these people are experts in education. Yeah. They've been professors, they've been teachers for a long time. Yes. So they're coming at it probably from a perspective empathizing. They've been in this role for, for so long. Exactly, yes. Uh, well, what's it like to build uh, AI plus education as a company in China, what what kind of uh, challenges and opportunities were there? Yeah, well, it it was huge challenge like okay. four and a half years ago yeah. when we started doing this AI plus education company. Everyone was asking, "What is AI?" And we couldn't get funding at that time if yeah. we said it AI. So other investors told us, mm, "You better change it to internet based education." Okay. <laughs> and we did change, and then we got funds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because no one knew what is AI, and no, AI was not that popular at that time. But you had that vision. Yes, we did. And about three years later, and there were many companies that started doing AI education. But that was already three years later than us. So right. Yeah. And now there are about 60 companies in China huh. saying that they are AI adaptive learning companies. Interesting. Yeah, some of them, they do have very good technology, and some of them, I can't really say no, but you know, they're trying to use this concept. Right. Yeah, yeah. They've borrowed from somewhere else. Yeah, it's, so, but which means this industry is going to be huge. Mm. It's, it's developing really rapidly yeah. because many competitors, many companies are into this industry. We're gonna, you know, work together to expand this whole industry. So uh, it's getting better now, yeah, but it's still not as good as U.S. Because as far as we know that um, there are about 20% of the students have started using personalized learning mm. system, either like Khan Academy yeah. or um, other applications. Yeah, there's others, yes. especially grade school. Yeah, yeah, but in China, I think less than 2 or 3%. Interesting. Yeah, so people don't really know what is AI education yet. So that's why we started doing one thing for the whole industry, which is called we started organizing a conference called huh? AI AED, which is AI Adaptive Education International Conferences. The reason we want to do that is to let Chinese audience, to let Chinese market to know what is AI education. So we brought many uh, AI companies and professors, scientists in AI and education area oh, to come to China and give talk and tell people what it's like in UK, in US. Huh? So that's one thing we do. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, how effective is this then? I mean, talking about the product, mm -hmm. when you're really, when you're working with students, how effective is um, Scroll AI's learning yeah. product? That's the part that I really want to talk about. Yeah, and okay. every time when I talk about other, either I'm really excited or sometimes we, you know, get really emotioned, touched. Um, the figure is like 70 to 80 percent of the students who have used our system for more than three months, they have different levels of improvements. Oh. Yeah, like some of them they have scores increased. Some of them they didn't like study before and oh. they started to Engaging. be interested, engaged, yeah, yeah. yeah, in the study. And I, because there were so many thank you letters from mm. the parents, mm. and with very you know, emotional and touching That must story. really get to the heart. Yes, yes. Yeah. I remember recently I read a story, a dad sending a letter to us. Um, well, the dad divorced with his wife, the mother, and the girl, the daughter, was kind of, um, didn't want to talk to anyone at all, and mm. kind of hate her dad, yeah. and even didn't want to talk to teachers. And they couldn't communicate, and the girl got really poor scores all the time. Mm and the dad didn't give up, and he found our learning centers and wanted to try. And a girl started learning in our centers oh. and get about, I think, 30 to 30 points for the score increased. Oh, and the girl started talking to the teachers, oh. the human teachers yeah. in, the, in the learning centers. And then later, on she started talking to her dad. Wow, oh, now that's there, fantastic. There's so many touch the story. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fantastic, though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's about how AI, how this technology also helps yeah. us as humans exactly. with each other. Yes, yes, yeah, it really does. Good. So uh. we are, you know, very happy to see all the outcomes and see the results from the students. And that's, I think, the happiest time we ever, we ever had. And when we receive any thank you letter, we know these examples in this case from the family. Mm. 
just so excited. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm 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 delighted to hear about what you're doing and how well this is working. I hope that this works proceeds to, to, to roll out in a much bigger way. And thank you very much, Jolene, today. Thank you. Thank you so much.